Hello YouTube model car community, Pappy here at the West Order Rides and Customs. Uh, just thought I'd give y'all a, instead of a Wednesday update like, a, like I had done the other day, I'm going to give you a Saturday update. I hope everybody's had a wonderful Christmas holiday. Uh, it's been kind of, uh, been kind of rough on me and our family. Uh, my dad had a heart attack on December the 22nd. And uh, unfortunately, he succumbed to that on December the 26th. Uh, he passed away. We, uh, we had his funeral December the 28th. Uh, and it's just been a, it's been a rough Christmas from, holiday for us, uh, for Vicki and I. Uh, thank God I, uh, she's, she's been my rock during this whole time. Uh, my, our family, I appreciate the the thoughts and the prayers from family and friends and my YouTube model car community brothers and sisters out there, y'all, y'all have been great. I really, you know, y'all really helped pick me up on as far as what's been going on. But uh, my dad was 95. Man, he was, he was my, he was my mentor. He was my fishing, my hunting buddy, uh, my my wrench turning buddy. Man, we, me and dad, uh, we've we've done a lot of things over the 53 years that I had him and uh, I'm gonna miss him greatly or, or there's gonna a lot of the family and friends I know he's gonna be missed by a lot of people but I know he's in a better place and I know he's uh, I know he's not suffering uh, and I'm uh, he's like I say uh, he's he's one that really got me into to being like what he is a jack of all trades and a master of none he could he could build just about anything and that that came over to me I kind of picked that up from him and and he's uh he's been great but my family as far as uh, me and Vicky and my brother and his family uh and grandchildren wow it, it, we're going to miss him so but uh I really appreciate all the thoughts and the prayers again uh I'm going to give you a little update on the 49 Merc chop top I've been doing also uh we I got a lot done uh, I wouldn't say a lot. I got the interior. Uh, I got the interior pretty much where I want it. I uh, got the engine finished. Got the uh, uh, pretty much well. It's a it's a rolling chassis. I haven't sprayed. Hadn't put any color yet on the body. Uh, I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm using some. Uh, it's dupla color. I'm gonna use a rattle can, but uh, it's uh, it's a GM color. Uh, it's a storm gray metallic. So it's uh, that's some pretty good stuff. Uh, Shane over at uh, Man Cave Models, he and I was talking not too long ago, and he kind of, he gave me some tips about spraying out of a rattle can uh, things to do. I might do that later. I might do a how to on that and share that with y'all in the future. But uh, just thought I'd give y'all a little update on this forty nine Merc and everything, and uh, show you what we what. I hadn't got anything done yet on the uh, on the tea bucket as far as the fruit. It's not really a tea bucket. It's a, the 25T fruit wagon truck. So that's for the Ford, uh, Tim Hulls' uh, Ford truck hunt. So anyhow, uh, I'm going to flip the, flip the camera around and let y'all see what I've got done on the 49 Merc. Here we go. Well, here's the, uh, here's the interior pan. I've got uh, uh, concentrated the other day on the... Uh, making the seat belts and getting them all put in. Uh, got the flocking done. Got the uh, did flocking on the back package tray back there. It's pretty much well sitting, you know, just like just like it's going to sit. I hadn't got the uh, interior pan glued on yet, but that's to come. Uh, made me some uh, seat, uh, not seat, but got me some armrests made last night. Got those mounted on one one side of the uh, door panels. Uh, as you can see up there and right there, I got the uh, got the battery cables made up. I'll get them glued on once everything. Hadn't got the drive shaft finished yet. I'm gonna do an aluminum drive shaft, so I just kind of paint the ends of the uh, universal joints. Uh, I think that's a steel color, and then I'll probably cut about a maybe about an inch off. I, once I get the motor mounted in, I'll kind of figure out what the length on the drive shaft will be, and I'll cut my aluminum. Uh, tubing accordingly. There's the uh, the interior. Um, interior boy, <laughs> that's wrong. Uh, that's the engine bay. I got some a lot of the detail painting done in it. Got the got the uh, battery all painted. Got everything done in it. And uh, the the motor. There she is. Uh, she's sitting over there. I guess you could call that a crate motor. <laughs> Seeing that sitting on the crate. 
but it's done. Uh, it's just waiting to be installed. Sorry, it's kind of grainy. I need to put a different background up there where it could kind of do it justice. The, uh, uh, just the wood grain and everything kind of on my bench here just kind of blends in. But there's the, got the radiator, got some photo, photo etch uh, pieces I'll be putting in the interior and stuff. But uh, that's about where I'm at right now. Uh, let me swing around right here and you can, sorry for the quick turn there. There's the body and it's still sitting, sitting over there just waiting to be sprayed. I got it pretty smooth. Uh, hope everything, uh, like I said, hope I can get it sprayed here pretty soon as long as the weather holds up. We're supposed to have some rain later on today, so I doubt very seriously I'll get that sprayed. I don't like spraying it be uh, real damp outside. I spray inside the garage, but it, uh, uh, I don't know. I just don't like spraying with a lot of humidity. All right, I'll see y'all back on the flip side again here. Hang on. Well, that's what's going on the 49 Merc Chop Top. Uh, I've got a little bit more done to it, and uh, it's uh, it's coming along. Uh, we'll... Uh, We'll see what happens here in the next few days about the color, getting it sprayed. I've got a few more days off. I, I've got a lot of got a lot of things I need to attend to as far as uh, with my daddy's passing and everything. Uh, we got some uh, thank you cards, notes to write out, and uh, that's more important than me sitting here doing a model. But I just kind of want to do this, do this update, do a little bit on the car just to kind of get a frame of mind. But uh, also. Uh, the uh, one to two kind of give you an update on the 25T fruit wagon. I hadn't started on it yet. I don't, you know, Tim's, uh, we're, it's January, tomorrow's January 1. So I may break it out and start, uh, start doing some assembly on it. I've got a pretty good idea of the direction I want to go with it. Uh, of course, said it was going to be a rat ride, but uh, I'll start showing y'all uh, videos of it just as soon as, as soon as I start getting some things done on it. Um, also, probably later on today, uh, with time allowing, I'm going to pull down some of my old, old, well, I wouldn't say older, but these are models that I've accumulated over probably the last year or so, maybe a year and a half, um, since I got back into modeling. I'm going to do a kind of like a little montage of these, of those bills. Uh, I set me up a, a pretty good little studio in here in my man cave. And uh, I'll do a little montage of that, and I might send that out later on this evening. I got to make room for the bills in 2017, which I've got. Wow, I, I've got a bunch of kits in my stash, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get those uh, uh, get started on a few of those. Of course, with truck Ford Truck Month, uh, Tim Holsey's. Tim and I have been going back and forth about that, and uh, I hope I've been talking to a lot of you guys on YouTube about uh, about you know what y'all are building. I'm I'm excited about that. So, but I got to make room for bills in 2017. I've got a lot of the some of the kits that I that I built and I showed at Acme. I've got those in display cases, but I'm just running out of room in here. So. But uh, I hope everybody has a happy, a safe and happy new year. Uh, remember, uh, if y'all if y'all gonna be partying, be safe. I mean, if you if you gonna throw back a few, turn up a few tonight, set down the keys. I want to see y'all back here in 2017, and uh, just uh, if you use Uber, use a designated driver, do whatever you got to do. But I want to see y'all back here in 2017, safe and sound. Uh, I want to throw a big uh, thank you out to CT at CT Speed Shop. God, he's, oh uh, man, he, he's another uh, pillar of this YouTube com uh, modeling community. I mean, CT, Tim Halsey, uh, Shane at Man Cave, Chevy Cheeseburger. Oh my God, I, I just can't throw out the entire list uh, of everybody. Y'all are great. I enjoy hearing from you. I enjoy the comments, uh, all the subscriptions. Everybody's came my way. Uh, I promise to you the beginning, I'm on, I'll put forth a videos worth watching and, uh, keep you updated on what I'm doing, but I really appreciate thanks to CT. Uh, he's been checking on me, uh, texting me back and forth since, uh, since my, my dad's passing. Uh, he, he was real excited that I had started a YouTube channel. So, uh, thanks to him. Thanks to all of you, man. Y'all are great. Y'all have, uh, y'all really, y'all helped me. Y'all just don't know how much y'all helped me out over the course of the past few days as far as bringing up my spirits. And, uh, I greatly appreciate it. Appreciate everybody subscribing, rating, commenting, uh, liking, man. I, 
I mean, my heart's full. <laughs> and I thank y'all very much for it. And uh, like I say, the model car community, it, it's growing. I, I, it's, it's growing with leaps and bounds, and I'm excited about where it's going right now. So anyhow, remember, if y'all are going to go out partying tonight, be safe, be careful. And uh, we'll hope to see y'all again here in the old West Georgia Rods and Customs. Well, this is Pappy. I'm out of here. Y'all take care. Happy New Year.